Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Index Notation Worksheets. Now here we have just a few slides to give us some practice in doing some sums and on Index Notation which we introduced in the last lesson. So question one. Write each of the following using index notation. So there's no need to find the final answer. So just write all of those using index notation. So remember, if you remember we have to have a base. So with index notation you have a base. Okay, so let's pretend that's a base. And we have to raise it to a power. Let's call it n, say some number. So there's a base, which is a number raised to a power. For example, I'll just give you a quick example. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 2 to the power of 3. And there's your index notation. So there's your base, and there's your power, okay, or your index, or your exponent. So that's what you have to do with all of those. Write each of the following using index notation and find the final answer. So with this section, it's very similar to question one, except in this part here, you actually have to write the final answer. Question 3. Write each of the following using index notation. Use the given base. So 4 will be 2 to the power of something. 8 is 2 to the power of something. 16, 2 to the power of something. 64, 2 to the power of something. 27, 3 to the power of something. 81, 3 to the power of something, and 64, 4 to the power of something. So sometimes you'll actually be given the base, and let's see how you go with these ones. Now question 4 is a very interesting one. Write each of the following using index notation. Use whatever base that works. So basically it's up to you to pick a suitable base for each of these seven. So there are seven examples. So I haven't told you what the base is. You are to choose a base that works. For example, 32 equals a base, whatever you choose, to some number. Okay, so there's the base and there's the power. The same here. Pick whatever base you want. 125 is similar. Pick whatever base that works. 128, 49, 100, and 1000. Now, in look, the base is probably very straightforward with these. When I say use whatever base that works, it just means that I haven't given you, I haven't specified what base to use. But in each of those cases, the base is very, very straightforward, and I'm sure you can work it out. So this video has given us a few slides to practice doing some sums with index notation.